Did that not happen to the so-called black man sis? Uh -huh. We had, look, this is why we've asked you to come over here so you can see our history is being foretold to us in this Bible. These things were prophesied that would happen to the children of Israel. That's this right. is the sign to let you know who you are. Let me ask you, how did we get here? Yeah, but how, what was the transportation? Boats. Yeah, you think that's in the Bible? No. You don't think it's in there? I don't think keep, it's in there. Keep in mind, we haven't been told what's in this Bible. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But guess what? The Bible says you're going to know the truth, and the truth is going to set you free. Mm -hmm. That's, that's what you're right. going to learn today. Yeah. You're going to learn the truth today. Okay. Keep What is sin? According to the Bible. Come on over here, sis. Listen, we ain't gonna bite you. We out here for you. How y'all doing today? Hey, hey, we doing good that now that somebody, one of our people want to hear this word. Let me ask you, what's your name? My name is Kamiko. Kamiko? Mm -hmm. All right, shalom Kamiko. My name is Yuanathan. Now, what I was asking is, what is sin according to the Bible? What did, I, what did they teach you sin was? Sin is basically um, doing things that's not worthy to God, and God, you know. Doing things that's not worthy to God. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you, there's a lot of black people think they blessed when they selling dope and getting money. Right. You know, there's a lot of black people think they blessed. And so guess what, we, we, if we thought, what was good to God was based off our own opinion, and every man got their own opinion. You know what I mean? But God is going to tell us what the definition of sin is. Bring it up. Another thing which they didn't teach you in church, like you know how to get to the kingdom, what sin was. You know, keep in mind the wages of sin is death. So the payment for committing sin is death, and they didn't even teach us what sin was. So let's find out what sin is. The book of First John chapter three verse four. Bring it out. Whosoever committed sin transgresseth also the law. So whoever commits sin breaks God's law. Read. For sin is the transgression of the law. For sin is the breaking of God's law, sis. Right. You understand that? So Hello. guess what? When, how can I love my neighbor if I don't even know what sin is? Because there's, there's requirements to love my neighbor. You understand? Guess what? We come out here today to give you love. Guess what we finna show you? Give me uh, Leviticus 19 something. You know you how we show love to our neighbors. Read. Leviticus chapter 19, verse 17. Bring it out. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Guess what? God is commanding us not to hate our brother in our heart, read. Right? Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. So guess what? To love your neighbor, to not hate your neighbor is to correct your neighbor. You understand? Read. And not suffer sin upon him. And not what? Suffer sin upon him. That's how you love your neighbor. You don't allow your neighbor to do what? Sin. To right. break God's law. That's you understand? right. understand? And if you love God, right? You love God? Let me show you how you're supposed to love God. Give me 1 John 5 and 3. The book of 1 John, chapter 5, verse 3. Bring it out. For this is the love of God, that we keep his commandments. That we do what? Keep. His commandments. That's how you love God. You keep the commandments. You When you keep the commandments, guess what? You're not sinning. You can stop your brother from sinning. Guess what? We're going to help you out today, sis. We're going to show you a law that our enemies have our women breaking every single day. Give me uh, Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Bring it up. Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 5. Bring it up. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So a woman shouldn't wear that which pertain to men, read. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment, why? For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. Abomination is something God hates. So let me ask you, it said a man should not wear that which pertaineth to women. What is the clothing that women wear that men shouldn't wear? A dress, hey all praises. Now, which is something that women shouldn't wear to pertain to men? Um, let me say boxers, boxer shorts, uh, Well, if you was going into a bathroom, right? Mm -hmm. One has a dress on the symbol, right? That's for who? The lady. The women. Mm -hmm. 
One has pants on. What's that for? A man. The men. So what y'all saying, like, lady, women can't wear pants? So they supposed That's to be what the Bible is telling you. Oh, okay. The Bible is telling you that. Okay. That women should not wear pants. Guess what? Before the late 1950s, early 60s, mm -hmm. women were not wearing pants. Mm -hmm. Right. This is something new in the earth. Mm -hmm. That was Hello. created by who? The people that oppress us. Mm -hmm. Hello. Matter of fact, let me show you something what the oppressor did. And remember, we've been following our oppressor this whole time, right? We've been following white Jesus. They gave us a white Jesus, a white God. Guess what? They gave you everything to make you sin against God. Give me that Proverbs 3. You think your enemies want to share power with you? No, they want to keep you in the midst of sin. And guess what? We supposed to have been following God's words, but guess what we start following? Our enemies. Read. Book of Proverbs, chapter 3, verse 31. Bring it out. Envy thou not the oppressor. We don't supposed to envy our oppressor. Read. And choose none of his ways. We can choose some of their ways. Choose none of his ways. All the ways of the white man can't be bad. And choose none of his ways. Wearing pants can't be bad for a woman. No. Choose none of his ways. We don't supposed to follow none of the ways of our enemy. That's right. right. You understand? Because all the ways of our enemy is wicked. You understand? Right. Following their religion, because that's who gave us religion. Let me see what God gave us. Give me Deuteronomy 21. I'm going to show you what the Most High God gave us. He didn't give us religion. If he had to give us religion, guess what? We would all know that religion. There would be no bunch of different denominations. We right. would all follow. Right. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 1. Right. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Now, the voice of the Lord thy God. The Most High God, is he your father? Right. He's all our father, right? Yeah. We're supposed to hearken diligently to our father. Because what happens when you don't follow your father? He's going to do what? He's going to punish you, right? right? But what if you follow him and do what he say? Will he not feed you, yeah. clothe you, yeah. provide you shelter, home? You know, that's what the Most High God is telling us right here. Read. To observe and to do all his commandments. Now, do all his religion. All his commandments. He gave us commandments. Guess what? When your father gave you a commandment, did you have a choice? You had a choice. Either do it or you don't do it. What was the punishment for not doing it? If you was coming up in a household like mine, you got whip. Yeah. You got whip. Right. Well, the Most High give you a mighty whipping when he give it to you. You understand that? Mm -hmm. Right. Read. Which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. Now, equal to all nations. On high above all nations of the earth. Well, the Most High God created 18 nations, which they ain't teaching you in church. They love to tell us that hey, we all bleed uh, red, we, which we do. But guess what? We all not the same. The Most High God created 18 nations on this earth, and he created us, the Israelites, the blacks, the Spanish, and Native Americans, to rule those 17 nations. That's why he said, I'm going to set you high above all the nations of the earth. Give me right, verse 10. Book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 10. Yeah. And all people of the earth shall see that thou art called by the name of the Lord. And what? And they shall be afraid of thee. So those 17 nations are going to be afraid of us because why? We have the Most High God fighting for us. You know right. Yes, right. We're the only people that have a God. Right. Guess what? Because you know the Chinese got what? Buddha. The, uh, the Muslim got uh, Allah. We got the Most High God of Israel. That's you right. Know what I'm saying? This book here, this is our book. Bring it up. That's this right. is our book. And you know how we know it's our book? Because of the things that's prophesied in this book prove that we are the children of God. Hey. Right. Prove that we are the Israelites. Let me ask you something. Give me uh, Exodus 28. Because you, like I said, you've been going to church, right? Remember, they didn't tell you how to get to the kingdom. Remember, we told you that, hey, they didn't teach you God's laws. We told you that, hey, Christianity is a false. But like you say, the Most High is going to tell you more evidence to prove what you've been following is wrong. Read. The book of Exodus, chapter 20, verse 8. Read it out. Remember the Sabbath day. You say, remember the Sabbath day. To keep it holy. To keep it holy means separate to God. Read. Six days shalt thou labor. Six days you're going to do all your work. And do all thy work. Read. But the seventh day. The what day? The seventh day. Read. Is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. That's Sabbath day is the seventh day. What day is the seventh day, sis? What day? 
Look on your phone. You got a calendar on your phone, right? Mm -hmm. Look on it. Um, okay. Hold on. What's the first day on that calendar? I, just, I gotta find the calendar. Hold on. Well, since I'm going to help you phone. out. That's a new phone. Hold on. Because, you know, the one thing though about this Bible is never going to lie to you. The seventh day. Okay. Sunday is what day? Sunday. Is this the first day on the calendar? No. Look on the top. Hold on. This phone confusing. This phone new to me, so. Let me see where you at. Look. What's that? Oh, okay. Sunday. I'm talking about this Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, mm -hmm. Thursday, Friday. Saturday. Mm -hmm. Saturday is the seventh day, sis. Oh. Yeah, Saturday is the seventh day. Sunday is the first day of the week. Right. That's right. Okay. Bring it so out, guess up. what? They gave you a false Sabbath, false Christ, false religion, and guess what they got? Right they gave you holidays. You celebrated Christmas with your kids? You did, right? Hey, they told you that was the birth of Christ, right? You tried Islam, you didn't feel Islam, but you kept on celebrating Christmas and all the holidays. Not at that time. Well, let's find out about Christmas. Remember, your pastor should be telling you these things, right? I don't go to church like that. I mean, I go every morning. But even, even, hey, as black people, we should know this, right? Because, okay. hey, we, I, hey, we are spiritual people. We're in church almost every Sunday, yeah. giving our money away. Yeah. Read. Book of Jeremiah, chapter 10. Verse 1, Read it out. hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. O house of Israel, that's who we are, sis. Read. Thus saith the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen. Learn not what? The way of the heathen. He said, don't learn the ways of these nations. Now, as you see, by them giving us white Jesus, that's the reason why he said don't learn their ways. Because what came with that? Came what? Christianity, false religion, guess what? Poverty. Crime, murder, all these Bring things up. happening in our people. Read. And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. Read. For the heathen are dismayed at them. That goes into your zodiac signs. I, I guarantee you, you know your uh, sign, don't you? What is it? A Leo. Notice how black people know their signs. They know. Guess what? The most I said, do not be dismayed at the signs of heaven. I'm talking about the stars. They always worry about the constellations. You know, give you horoscopes. And black people run to their horoscopes to try to find out something. Guess what? You could have went in the Bible and found out your future. Right. You could have went right. in the Bible and found out how to uh, fix your life. Bring it out. But we would run right to your horoscopes. But keep reading. For the customs of the people are vain. He said the customs of the people are vain. Our people follow all the customs of the white man. We don't have any customs that we call our own. We don't follow anything that we call us that for ourselves. Right. right. Because why? We don't know our heritage. Right? We say we was robbed of our heritage. And the one thing we don't do, we don't go try to find out where we was robbed from. Read. For one cutteth a tree out of the forest. Now he's explaining one of these customs. He says, you listening? Yeah, he said, one cuts a tree out of the forest. Read. The work of the hands of the workmen with the axe. So they go cut that tree down. With axe, read. They deck it with silver and with gold. They decorate that tree with silver and gold. They fasten it with nails and with hammers that it move not. So they take that tree in their house and they get some nails and they used to fasten that tree down in the floor so it don't fall down. Now we got tree stands. What custom is that? That's Christmas. Mm -hmm. And what did the Most High say not to do? Learn not the way of the heathen. No, we can do Christmas. It's of God. Learn not the way of the heathen. No, we can do Easter. It's of God. Learn not the way of the heathen. We can do Fourth of July. I'm American. Learn not the way of the heathen. I can follow. I can follow Halloween. It's for the kids. Learn not the way of the heathen. The Most High said, "Don't follow their ways." Yeah, that's right. That's right. Don't follow right. their ways. And that's what he's trying to get you to understand, sis. Yeah. We got to come back to the Most High God. Yeah. We got to come back to his law. Yeah. We gotta, you have any children? Yes. That's what you're supposed to be teaching your children. Give me that good one, sit one. Remember, the Most High gave us these laws and commandments. That's what it was for. Your wisdom. That's right. Because now we destroy. We have no wisdom. We get all our wisdom from who? From the white man. The man yeah. that oppresses you. 
Why would he ever give you wisdom to rise up? He getting paid off of you being naive and dumb. He getting paid off of your sin. That's why it's the most powerful nation on earth. We go slave for him, put in 40 to 60 hours a week, turn around, give that money right back to him for everything we need. Yeah. We, and you know what we don't do? Anything for ourselves. Right. Our people, all, hey, this is their problem. This is their solution to solve all their problems. Come together. And hey, we all just come together. Come together and do what? Talk yeah. about our problems? How are we going to come together and serve God? And let that be the solution. Right. That's something we have never tried. Right. You understand? Read. Deuteronomy chapter 6 verse 1. Now these are the commandments, the statutes, and the judgments which the Lord your God commanded to teach you. That ye might do them in the land whither ye go to possess it. Well, guess what? The Most High gave us a land. He said, he goes these laws, statutes, commandments. Go do these things. Govern your land. Govern your families. Right. You know what I'm saying? He said, this is, this is how you're going to prosper. This is how you're going to rule this earth. In what? Verse, uh, give seven. me verse 7. Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 7. Read Read and thou shalt teach them diligently. He said, you're going to teach these things diligently to who? Unto thy children. You're going to teach them to your children. Your children are going to grow up following these laws of God. Understand, they're going to grow up with the greatest wisdom on this earth. Right. You're gonna, if we kept doing this, we would still be ruling this earth today. That's right. You understand? We would still be ruling this earth today. Because, you know, if you can give your children some rules in the house so they can be wise and prosperous, what type of laws and commandments do those most I give us? You understand? Give me that uh, four and five. Let's see what they say about the laws and commandments he gives. All right. Hey, I'm going to give you this. Probably about another hour. Let me give you this last verse before you go. Last verse before you go. Deuteronomy chapter 4 verse 5. You don't understand why these laws are so important. Read. Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments. Read. Even as the Lord my God commanded me. Read. That ye should do so in the land whither ye go to possess. Read. Keep therefore and do them. Read. For this is your wisdom. This is your what? Your wisdom. Read. And your understanding. In the sight of the nation, Read. which shall hear all these statutes and say, Surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. He's going to say what? Surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. Read. For what nation is there so great? Who hath God so nigh unto him as the Lord our God is in all things that we call upon him for? Read. And what nation is there so great that has statutes and judgments so righteous as all this law? He said, what nation is so great? There was no nation greater than us. Right. Guess right. Guess what? Even in our state that we're in now at the bottom, there's still no nation greater than us. That's, That's right. right. But guess what? We got to come back to Most High's laws and really get back was taken from us, right. which is the rulership of this earth. The black man, the black woman should want power. They should never want to raise their children up in these conditions. Right. It's at the bottom. We was created to rule this earth. Right. And so guess what? All black people, all black people, Hispanics, Native Americans, should want rulership of this earth because the Most High created it for us. That's right. right. We got to come back and take what's ours.
I'm a Jew with sound art For years I've been walking around saying that I'm a black man I ain't saying that no more, it's sound man This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ Please subscribe to our YouTube channels Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.